Hello everyone, welcome to Surrender Your Toxins. What a title, right? Well, Surrender Your Toxins is a webinar presented by me, Dr. Celeste Owens, and we're going to talk tonight about how you do just that, how you surrender your toxins. So I'm so excited that you decided to join me this evening. I'm not going to take much of your time, just want to be able to share some things with you about uh, this particular topic. So again, thank you for joining me. This topic, this uh, session, in fact, is being recorded, so you'll be able to view it after we're done as well, which will be good because I'm going to give you tons and tons of information. You probably won't be able to keep up even if you're taking notes, so I'll make sure I uh, email to you this uh, session after we're done. So here's how you can participate. And just a couple of things you could do. One is at the top of your screen, you'll see that orange arrow there. So if you click that arrow, it expands and collapses your console. Now, what's important about that is that your console will collapse on its own when you're not actually doing anything. You're being inactive. So if you want to see it again, you just click it out, especially if you want to make a conversation or have conversation with me. So if you want to have conversation, you have to put your question in there where I have it um, marked off and then you can just ask your question. I'll try to get through questions tonight. Um, we don't have much time together but I'm going to present most of the information up front and then um, I will open it up for Q&A and I don't mind answering questions for quite a while tonight. I'm fine with that. I'm just so excited that you all are interested in being well. Uh, just a couple of housekeeping things. Um, one is the session is being recorded so that you'll know, and the recording will be emailed to you, just like I said, by tomorrow morning. Uh, and then also the session is until 8 o'clock, but then after that, again, as I just mentioned, I'll follow it up with some Q&A, because I'm sure you'll have a lot of questions about it. And as I always like to do, I want to open up in a word of prayer. So let's go before the Lord. Dear Heavenly Father, I just thank you, God, for this time, and thank you, God, for allowing us to come together on a webinar, Lord. We just thank you, God, that you have um, enabled man to be so brilliant in that they can figure out how to get us together, even when we're not in the same cities, Lord. So I thank you for all the cities in New York that are being represented, uh, in Maryland that are being represented, North Carolina, Florida, California, wherever anyone is coming into um, hear about what it is you want to say to them tonight, Lord. I just pray a special blessing over them and that they get wisdom about how to treat their body. So I thank you. I bless you. There is none like you in all the earth. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. So again, a little bit about me. I am, again, Dr. Celeste Owens. I'm the co-founder, along with my husband, Andell, of Dr. Celeste Owens Ministries. And I'm a trained psychologist. I no longer practice. I haven't practiced in, oh, who, I don't know, at least four years or so. Uh, I just actually got a call last week from someone asking for serenity counseling services. That was the name of my private practice. I'm like, really, seriously? It's been like four years. No, not in business. But anyway, I am now an author and a speaker, motivational speaker, and, and a certified natural health professional. Uh, if you knew me before, uh, I had cancer in 2007. I'm a breast cancer survivor, seven years this uh, October. Uh, if you knew before that, you would be shocked that I'm a certified natural health professional mm -hmm. or natural health anything because I was a junk food junkie. And someone might be listening now is like, oh, she, she, I'm the same way. But, you know, it's just a, a miracle, really, in fact, uh, how God just changed my palate change the things that I desire to eat. Like even for dinner, we just had zucchini corn fritters. They're really yummy. I'll send you the recipe if you're interested. Um, and they're just so good. This filling is good for you. So I'm, I'm just loving life right about now. I am the author of the 40 Day Surrender Fast series, you all. I used to always just say the 40 Day Surrender Fast, but now we have a series of books that are available to you. Again, uh, the, well, of course, you already know the 40 Day Surrender Fast devotional, or at least some of you do. And then we now have, I've partnered with my sister and executive administrative assistant, Stephanie Davis, and she helped me to come up with the 40 Day Surrender Fast journal. And we've been asked about this for years because everyone's saying, I don't want to just write in a book in those little spots that you give us to write. We want to be able to write and really journal uh, a lot during the fast. So there you go. You have your journal. And then I um, connected with my son, AJ, and he helped me or I helped him, I should say, whichever way you want to put it, uh, write the 40 Day Surrender Fast for Kids. So. It's for kids, by a kid, and this is his journey, so we're so excited about that. 
Um, and then also the book, uh, The 40 Day Surrender Fast, is in Spanish. Don't ask me to say that. My uh, good friend, Manuela Green, who actually took the time to translate it into Spanish for us, hours and hours, time consuming, yes, but she is available for business if you want to find out how you can get your book interpreted, uh, translated into Spanish. But anyway, she told me how to say the name of the book. I'm going to have to practice a lot before I actually am bold enough to <laughs> do it in front of anybody. So, but anyway, those are the books that we have available. Um, Oh, that's funny. Uh, you all, my other natural health friend, food friend, foodie, all that good stuff, Tyra Lynn Kingsland, who I do a lot with uh, as it relates to healthy eating, uh, just says she has zucchini corn fritters for dinner as well with some baked sweet potato and roasted cauliflower. I should have done the roasted cauliflower. Yum. Um, so I love it. Uh, so welcome to the call, everybody, including Tyra. Uh, and OK, so that's what we have. So those books. Are, will be available um, in the next day or so on our website, surrenderfast.com. And they're right in time for our next cycle of fasting, which is uh, September 15th. It starts September 15th, and it sort of leads into why I wanted to do this webinar today, because our theme for cycle eight of fasting, you can find out more at surrenderfast.com, is new beginnings. And God's just been pressing on me about new beginnings for you all in your physical body. And I know God's going to do some amazing, wonderful, miraculous things during cycle eight. And he's just pre-fasting us and getting us prepared for that time together. So let's see. So tonight's topic, as you know, is surrender your toxins. And most of you should have gotten the handout that I sent. If you register after eight or nine this morning, you're not going to have that handout. I apologize. I could send it later. But most of you got the handout and it was asking you questions that you need to ask yourself to know if it's time for you to do a detox or not. So some of the things, I just put a couple of them here. The actual full questionnaire, um, you could have gotten a score of 12 as a total score. And every yes, you need to count it up. Um, and go ahead and put into the questions box or chat area what your score was. I won't say it out loud for you guys, but what your score is. Um, if you got two or two or less, I mean like, I'm like blown away because that's like phenomenal. Um, but some of it was, have you gained weight even though your diet hasn't changed? Do you have unexplained headaches, back or joint pain or arthritis? Um, and then are you unusually tired? Are you relying on stimulant pick-me-ups and sugar and caffeine to get through the day? I was speaking with someone um, who knows someone who has been diagnosed with MS and she still takes, uses a lot of caffeine and so on and so forth. Um, it was trying to find a more natural stimulant to use uh, because she is tired, but more than likely she is toxic too. So let's see what you all have. So some of you were scoring around three, eight, seven. Let's see what Tyra scored. Maybe Tyra didn't get around to doing it because uh, she probably has a really good score. Um, and then some of you four, some sixes, that's that's fine. Um, and we just want to make sure, again, the higher your score, um, it just it indicates for you uh, the need for um, detoxing. So that's all it is. So not a big deal. Um, someone just joined the webinar. Cool. All right. So tonight's topic. So that's all it is. If you didn't get that questionnaire, again, I can send it out later and you can just have an idea if this is something you should do. But truthfully, everybody needs to be detoxing and doing something. Um, okay, hey, Shannon. Shannon from Buffalo, New York. Uh, uh, she might be Minister Shannon. Anyway, she didn't get the form. That's okay, Shannon. I'll make sure I send it out to you and others when we get done. Um, and Tammy as well. Um, okay, so here we go. Let's keep it moving. So where did all the toxins come from? So we're talking about these toxins and they're all over the place and they're just like invading us, unfortunately. And they come from a lot of different things. We have all of these products um, that keep or help life to be convenient, right? And they're a major inconvenience really as it relates to our health. So there are many environmental toxins. Um, there are more than 2 million, is that not crazy, synthetic substances are known. And every year, it's like 25,000 more are developed, these synthetic substances. And an example of one, um, just to give you an idea, because mostly you probably have heard about PBA and how you want to use containers that are PBA um, free. And you want to use products that are PBA free. It's very important to do that because that material itself, which is found in polycarbonate, um, 
is plastic with that number seven, um, usually that symbol, the number seven for recycling. Um, and it, again, is very toxic. And it can be, you can exposure from it, from your foods, car exhaust, fingernail polish, ladies, sorry, um, and, um, aerosol sprays, paints, magazine, ink, and the lighting of canned food. So that, all of that is there, that, um, this toxic substance. And it, the problem is that it mimics estrogen. It mimics estrogen. So it is a hormone disruptor and it, it makes the body thinks it has a lot more estrogen than it actually has. And then what ends up happening is that it contributes to a congested liver. And we need our liver, you all, as part of what um, the liver's job is hugely important. I think I'll talk about it in another slide, so I'll wait. Um, and then what you often could see on your physical body is spider veins and hemorrhoids and varicose veins and some other things um, when your tox levels in this area with this plastic is too high. Um, so, and the research indicates, I have here, I just put like a little fact there that environmental chemicals um, can be, um, they believe can be connected to 60 to 80 percent of cancers, environmental top chemicals, you all. Okay, so where do all the toxins come from? And then I just mentioned the liver to you guys, and it's right down there. I know these slides are <laughs> jam-packed with information, but I just want to make sure you got this information because I went to um, a webinar a couple of, about over a month ago on detoxification. So that's why I have all this information, and I've been sharing with our um, Surrender Your Diet Mastermind group on Facebook. If you're, not, if you're on Facebook and you're not part of that group, you want to join us. Again, it's Surrender Your Diet mastermind group on Facebook. Make sure you hang out with us. And I've been sharing all these detox techniques and I've been wanting to for the last month get online and talk to you guys about um, these um, toxins and all this kind of stuff. So I'm so happy we get a chance to do that tonight and so excited that so many of you are interested in this topic. So anyway, there are food toxins, you all. There are toxins in the food too. And it is indicated that 20% of the U.S. food supply is contaminated by toxin pesticides and residues. Um, and the average person consumes four pounds of food additives a year, four pounds, quite a bit of just things that are added to our food. Um, and then here's some food facts, just in case you just want to know this kind of stuff. Um, potatoes, french fries, in fact, are America's favorite quote unquote vegetable. Ooh, yikes. Um, and each person consumes about 28 pounds a year. Um, I have to confess, I'm probably one of those people because I just love me some french fries. At least I've learned how to make them halfway decent, even though Dr. Oz says potatoes are kind of a mess um, because they're porous and toxins. Oh, but I love me some french fries and I will make them in the oven. I'll cut them up, you all, put some olive oil and, and my Himalayan salt and plop, pop them in the oven for 25, about 20 minutes or so. You're going to want to shake them after about nine minutes. But anyway, that's enough about french fries. <laughs> uh, Americans do about 10 billion donuts a year. I, I don't do donuts, so I'm not going to be in that group. Ten billion donuts. I probably haven't. I haven't had a donut in four years, so that's not me. Uh, Fifty-four gallons of soda. I mean, like that's crazy. I might have a soda a year. No, no, one can. So somebody else is drinking the rest of that soda, and that's per person, y'all. Fifty-four gallons of soda per person. I did a webinar some time ago on the effects of soda on your body and how it makes your body acidic. And if you don't know anything about being acidic and all that kind of jazz, just think about achy joints, that kind of stuff. Yeah, soda. And then also uh, sugar. I'm going to do a webinar on sugar, but I'm waiting to do it because I'm going to do it like a couple weeks before Thanksgiving. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. It'll scare you guys straight before Thanksgiving. <laughs> but it said that uh, 150 to 200 pounds of sugar is consumed by each person. Wow. And sugar, you all, is just toxic in and of itself. So if you do nothing else, drink a lot of water and decrease your sugar intake, please. Um, and I can go on and on about sugar. But again, I'm going to do a separate webinar for that one. Um, if you're interested in it, let me know because I would love to do it. Actually, put in the chat. If you want to see a webinar on sugar, most of you are probably like, no, thank you. I want to keep my sugar. If you do, just let me know and I'll make sure we get that one done very soon. Um, and then there's other toxins. Um, there's one heavy, uh, heavy metal toxins. I don't know how familiar you are with the heavy metal um, toxins. And let's see who's interested in the sugar webinar. Oh, Rachel said it. Thank you, Rachel. I will have a web sugar webinar. And so is Connie's. Connie's interested and Kimberly is interested and Tammy. So look, 
we got five people interested, four or five. That is enough for me. We're going to do a sugar webinar. <laughs> So where do all the toxins come from? Again, heavy metal toxins. So toxin metals build up in the soft tissue of the body, and these heavy metal toxins cause permanent damage, you all. And But the interesting thing about it is that usually heavy metal toxicity um, doesn't happen overnight, because if it did, you would get a host of symptoms related to being toxic because of heavy metals, and the doctors would probably be able to diagnose it a lot quicker, but usually it accumulates over months and years. So what ends up happening that when you start to have symptoms related to it, it's misdiagnosed because no one's connecting it to you have too many heavy metals in your body because it's just been so many years. So sources of heavy metal toxins are fish, you all. Fish, I don't know if you know that or not, but fish um, that has been exposed to mercury in our oceans. Um, so it's always important, you know, to... And I know a lot of people, I eat, for one, I eat a plant-based diet for the most part. Once in a blue moon, and, and what I mean by that is like maybe once or twice a year, I'll have some salmon or um, that's pretty much it um, out of all of them. But the ones that I um, would do, if I was doing any of the fish, I would make sure it was something that was um, wild caught and not farm raised, not farm raised, but wild caught, things that were caught in this natural environment. So I was going to have fish, I would do that. Um, and then we also get, and then, the, you know, the tuna and all that in the cans, forget it, you all. You just figure out something else to eat for lunch. Uh, you don't want to do that. Um, but then but there are also other heavy metal toxins that we get um, exposed to is lead. And we see that from batteries and table coverings and the plumbing and the paint pigments. And most of the times when I think about lead poisoning, or lead, you think about houses that were painted before the 60s, I think it is, and it has paint that has the lead in it, but really there's so much more. And I'm just giving you guys a few things. I have, um, from my webinar, they gave us like 25 things each for each type of heavy metal toxin. So it's, it's it, we're getting exposed to it all over the place. And then there's also exposure from um, heavy metal exposure to arsenic. Um, and then arsenic, I just wanted to make sure you guys knew this. Um, it's an it's a additive that they feed to the chickens to promote the growth and kill the parasites and improve color of meat. So, ooh, organic chicken is a must, you all. If you're going to eat your chicken, make sure it's organic. And, I, and, and if you can't get it, okay, you know, don't beat yourself up if it's too pricey. Uh, but one of the things that you can consider is eating a lot less chicken. So if you get the organic and you don't have three pieces, you just have one piece at dinner and fill your plate up more with veg vegetables and such. Um, then you could afford it because you'll spend the same amount you did for the not so good chicken. You'll just eat less of it. So just trying to treat your body right. Um, Terry says, I, I wonder sometimes what I can eat. Oh, man. And Tia wants a sugar webinar, too. Uh, but what can, I know, Terry, we're going to talk about that because all of a sudden you start to get like panicky, like, oh, my goodness, I can't eat for the rest of my life. I mean, like they're killing us here. But um, you, you know what? There's just some things we can do. We're going to talk more about that as this webinar progresses. Um, <laughs> and Shannon says she's loved, she loves me. First, I'm trying to take her sugar. Now I'm trying to take her tuna and her chicken. <laughs> I'm not trying to take any of it. I just want you to be aware. That's all. And you know what, Shannon, thank you for bringing that up because um, this is what I want to say, and I meant to say this right from the onset, that you have to pay attention to the Holy Spirit. So if you have the Holy Spirit in you, if you accepted Christ and you have accepted him as your Savior and the Holy Spirit dwells in you from that period on, the Holy Spirit will tell you what to eat. You know, you're, and if you're not... Um, a part of the Christian movement or, or whatever it is, get, listen to your conscience. Listen to something inside of you because your body is so intricate. Your body is so well made. You're a beautiful creation. Your body will tell you what it wants to eat, really. Um, and so you have to listen to your body, but also you have to listen to the Holy Spirit to know what's right for me. What do I have to eliminate? What do I not have to eliminate? I tell people it came upon me to eliminate meat. Apparently my body doesn't process meat well. It might not come to you to stop eating meat. It might say eat less meat or it might, whatever it is. However you are spoken to, listen and be obedient. That's all it is. This is not like a scare tactic to get you to stop eating food. It's just to be obedient one and to be compliant with what your body is telling you to do so that you can live your best life. You know what? There is such a destiny and a plan on your life that it makes no sense to go through your life hurting, can't get up, I'm too tired, I can't even get on the plane, I can't, whatever it is. You have too much living to do. Your plan is too great 
to be hindered by a body that's not well. So this is all about being well and just being productive. Um, so Maria said, interesting enough, that she's heard that if you soak chicken in distilled water, that this will help remove the toxins. No clue, Maria. Um, but I think that would be a great thing for people to Google and find out. Thank you for sharing. Um, and Chrissy wants to surrender your sugar. Yay! We're going to do it, you all. Okay, so the next slide is, oh, this is other sources of heavy metal. Um, and the, um, there's aluminum, there's copper, and there's nickel. And then these are just the types of heavy metals, the types of um, substances that carry these heavy metals. So there's aluminum uh, pans and our anti um and acids, our deodorants, oh, you guys, you know, I'm not going to take too much time on this, but deodorant, I had to let go of my deodorant because of the aluminum. And you know what's interesting? I was supposed to let go of my deodorant last year, but I've been just one of those people who just needed deodorant. Um, and I remember last year when it came to me, stop using deodorant. I was like, no, I'm not going to stop using deodorant because I'm not going to walk around here smelly, so I'm not listening to whatever you're saying, not listening. Um, but this year I just got so convicted after I did the detox webinar and they were talking about the aluminum and how... It clogs your body's natural ability to breathe and to release toxins. And I said, okay, uncle, I give. And guess what, y'all? I surrendered my deodorant. And for two weeks, I wore no deodorant, and I did not smell, which, which is nothing but God. And then after that, I got hold of some natural deodorants that were recommended. I think Angela recommended a couple from Mom's Organic and Whole Foods. Um, so I started doing that. And you know what's interesting? What I found out at the webinar, I mean, at the um, detoxification seminar is that our bodies don't, aren't supposed to smell, you know, because I always wonder why, God, why would you make smelly underarms? That doesn't make sense. But they're not supposed to. Um, your, your, the sweat that comes from your underarms, which is great because it's helping you to detox and all that good stuff, hits some bacteria, you all, some little toxic bacteria underneath your arms, and that's where the smell comes from. Interesting, right? Anyway, if you want to learn more about not using deodorant, not using toothpaste, all this kind of stuff, um, check out our blog, Stephanie Davis. Um, writes our blog. She just wrote a blog today on breathing. If you go to Dr. Celeste Owens blog dot com, you can read more on the other things with the health segment that um, Stephanie is doing. So, okay, I spent too much time on deodorant. Copper is just found in some of these other things. Even our ice makers, you all. I'm like, yikes. Um, baking powder, dental work, food processing, hydrogenated oils, and all that stuff. Um, but you know what's interesting? The the professor for the class I took a month ago on detoxification said there are some things in other, there's some natural substances and herbs that we can use that are in the earth that can actually um, what's the word she used um, combat combat maybe is the right word um, some of the the um, heavy metals in our food so she says when she eats fish when she she buys the wild caught fish she'll couple it with some cilantro and she'll put the cilantro with it because it supposedly somehow when it gets in the body, it helps um, um, with the effects of the toxins inside of the body. So interesting, right? Garlic. Garlic does the same thing. Um, and then also vitamin D does the same thing with this whole mercury thing. So those are some supplements you can use with your food um, to help to combat some of the toxins. Okay, so I got a question. Um, Crystal, yeah, Crystal, if you want to know more about the deodorant thing, just go to drcelesteowensblog.com, okay? Oh, um, and then Marlon says, or the better way for you. Um, oh, sorry, Marlon. Marlon says, look at God. See, he asked me to read the thing and provide it. Oh, okay, okay. Um, I think Marlon just sent me a message. That's why I'm mumbling. <laughs> hey, Marlon. Uh, but anyway, it's just some things that we can do. Um, to help our bodies and to help with this whole toxic thing. Um, oh yeah, interesting. Karen was saying over the years she's developed some contact allergies from dental re raisin, re reasons, how do you say the word? Toothpaste and lipsticks and lip glosses. Ooh, Karen, that is so true. And you know what? Women, we consume about four pounds of lip gloss and lipstick a year. Yep, just from licking your lips and your mouth. Four pounds. That's what we're eating. And yeah, you would have developed some kind of allergies from that. Yep, absolutely. Um, so good. Thank you all for your comments. Yes, thank you all for, for your comments. Um, someone said, oh, I love Cassandra. Said she loves cilantro. Oh, cilantro is good. Yeah, 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 it's good. Good thing. It's not, I'm sorry, I have it underneath these toxins. It made it sound like it was bad. We're just saying that to, uh, to combat some of the toxic effects of these foods, you can couple it with the cilantro, cilantro 
some garlic and, and some of that sort of things. Okay, so Terry, now Terry's liking me again because Terry's saying that now she realized she could put some of the stuff with the food she likes to do. Um, she says she doesn't do milk. Yeah, I, I, I stay away from dairy as much as I can. I still do cheese and stuff, but um, dairy was building a lot of mucus in my body, so I had to, to step back from the dairy. Um, and now I find that I, you know, heart, hardly, I don't get allergies any longer at all, seasonal allergies like I used to and all that kind of stuff. So, okay, I better keep it moving. We have a lot of comments. Thanks, you all, for being so involved. Okay, so common signs of toxicity uh, is skin eruptions, including acne. And acne, of course, can be... Um, hormonal. I know somebody's probably saying, oh, what? That could be hormones. Yes, it can be. But it also just shows there's imbalance um, in the liver, which de um, detoxifies for us, um, certainly can be implicated when there's skin eruptions, their ac acne could tell you that your body's too toxic. Toxic. Um, constipation. Constipation saying you're toxic because guess what, you all? You should be having bowel movements two to three times a day. Um, not once a week. So if you're having a problem with that, you need to get some digestive enzymes. Oh, I have one I love, love, love. I, I haven't put it on the website yet. Every time I get them in stock, people just like buy them out. Um, but they're the best. And you just eat them with your meals and it helps your food to digest. And it definitely will keep you regular. Um, high blood pressure is implicated with being toxic. Um, profuse sweating. Not just regular sweating because that's good, but like overly like heavy sweating. Chronic bad breath and elevated cholesterol. Um, so what's a person to do? They are to detox. So all those toxins in your body is necessary that we detox. And what is a detox? Detox, Detoxification or purification is the process of bringing a toxic body back into balance by eliminating the poisons that have overloaded bodily organs and upset the body's equilibrium. Very long definition, I know. But the important part, and that's what I put there in the bowl is it you we have to get our bodies back to balance so they can work well and they can work for us not against us um and some i know someone's asking this i can hear it won't my body naturally detox itself yes 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 it will and no 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 it won't <laughs> because remember i told you earlier about all these environmental toxins and heavy metals and food toxins at this point, we're overloading and overwhelming our body's natural self-cleaning system, and it can't do it all. It needs our help. Um, so if we're going to um, have our bodies work well, we're going to have to help it out with some detox activities, you all. Um, let's see what questions we have. Um, uh, Chris says, I bake a lot, so what can I do to, use substitute, to substitute the baking powder? Oh, yeah, you know what? Um, I don't substitute a baking powder. Um, I, I think a lot of times what you have to do is just moderation. If somebody has an answer for that, you can chime in because I'm not the one to answer because I still use it too because I do, you know, I cook from scratch as well. So if somebody has an answer for that. You're welcome to put it into the chat for us. Um, okay. Every time I try to advance, this thing gets weird. Okay, there we go. So the body has five uh, main eliminatory uh, organs, okay? So there are five of them. And it's BULLS is the acronym, BULLS. <laughs> the first is the bowels, of course, and I was just telling you, you should be having bowel movements two to three times a day. And if not, you need to take some digestive enzymes to help with that. And there's other things you could eat and so on and so forth. But digestive enzymes are hugely important. Um, urinary, the you can drink um, plenty of water to help with that eliminate, eliminatory organ. Um, lungs is also one of the organs um, that eliminates for us. And today, Stephanie wrote an article on deep breathing, and I put it there again. It's Dr. Celeste Owens' blog, and talks about how when you breathe in deeply, you all, and breathe out, guess what? You're breathing out toxins. So deep breathing is like major. It's our major best friend. So no more shallow breathing through the day because you're anxious and you're tired or you're depressed. Just take some nice deep breaths. Just take one now. I can't hear you, so help yourself. Deep, you know, breathe in for about five and then back out through your mouth. So in through your nose, out through your mouth. Um, the lymph, the lymph is hugely important in moving um, toxins, out, you know, from the um, out of the blood and out of the body. Um, the lymph, one of the ways you can get your lymph moving um, is to do a trampoline or a rebounder. I have to do a trampoline or a rebounder because um, about 18 of my lymph nodes under my left arm were removed. Um, so over the years, I've had problems since 2007 with my left knee. The doctors never diagnosed it 
as a lymph problem. And I just recently listened to God finally and realized it was a lymph problem and not arthritis, like they were saying, that I had rheumatoid arthritis. I'm like, what? Um, the lymph wasn't moving. And it was getting, and when the lymph didn't move, it would just get clogged up in my um, left knee. And then it would swell up and I couldn't, couldn't walk. So now I just do the trampoline twice a day, five minutes each. <laughs> five minutes feels like forever, you all, just to give you a heads up. So if you get a rebounder, you think, ooh, five minutes. But five minutes, they say, is like doing 15 miles of walking for your lymph system. This is like huge. And after one minute, I'm like, Wendy, yesterday I did six minutes and I was pumped. I was like, I did six minutes, ah! But it's just so amazing. And now I can run up and down the stairs. I'm doing great. And there's some other things I do, too, to make sure my joints are working right. But that's just one of the things I wanted to offer to you. So that that's a good one. And then for the skin, your skin is the biggest organ of your body. Your liver is the second biggest um, organ, but the skin is your biggest organ, and our skin, if it's not breathing, it's not letting out the toxins and things in our body. So one of the things I do, and I put a picture there of a dry brush. I dry brush every day before I get in the shower. They say about 10 minutes. I don't know. I might be 5 or 10 minutes. I don't know. But anyway, you just take the brush. And you can get it on Amazon anywhere you are. It's not a big deal. And you take the brush, and you just brush in circular motions up towards the heart. So you start at the feet, go up, um, on your arms, everything, but everything you're brushing towards the heart in a circular motion or sweeping motions, not too hard, and it just and it, it just helps your skin. You watch you all. If you all do this, your skin is just going to glow. Um, you're just going to love this, and you're just going to feel so much better. So those are some of the limit. Oh, uh, don't let me try to say that word one more time. This at this time. Um, oh, thanks, Tyra. Tyra said, look for aluminum-free baking powder. Man, I didn't know that. She said she's using one now from a company, Rumford. Thank you so much, Tyra. I would definitely do that. Oh, and Ann said the same thing. She uses Clabber, uh, Clabber Girl and Rumford. Same thing. Perfect, you all. You all are great. And hey, Geneva. Geneva says, um, thanks for the webinar and blog. You are so welcome. And she's been focusing on deep breathing all day. Yay. She said from her head to her tippy toes. I love it. Thanks, Geneva. Um, can people with eczema brush skin? Oh, man, that is such a great question. Um, you know what's interesting, too? Eczema is definitely implicated with a toxic body. And, and one thing for sure eczema is implicated with is that your food isn't digesting properly. Um, so digestive enzymes is going to help with that. But if you want to dry brush, I would not dry brush the eczema because eczema actually can spread. Um, it's like when you scratch and it spreads. So I wouldn't dry brush the eczema, but I would dry, I would dry brush the other parts of the skin and let those start to... Um, peel away dead skin and breathe for you, and then do some other things associated to get um, your skin back into um, motion or doing well and eczema-free. Okay, so regular detoxifications. I just talked about most of them, but these are some that you can do because I said that I would tell you some that you can do, and one is dry brushing, as I just mentioned. Recently on Surrender Your Diet, the Facebook group, Surrender Your Diet Mastermind group, we did oil pulling, and a bunch of you did it. Geneva did it, and some other people did it. Um, and, oh, my goodness, the results that people got were just fantastic. Besides just what you might expect, like your breast smells better and all that kind of stuff, people's allergies were clearing up. You all, their sinus problems were going away. And oil pulling is just you swish a tablespoon of oil, coconut oil, sesame oil, whatever, olive oil, Swish it around for 15, 20 minutes um, and spit it out three three to five times a week. That's it. It's so simple. At first, it sounds really weird. It's like, ooh, but it's not a big deal. It's not hard. It's on the blog. It's also on that Facebook mastermind group. Um, Connie, who's on the webinar too, said that she thought she couldn't do it at all. And she was just so proud of herself because she did all five days and she just felt great. So it's something you can decide to do. Um, hydro, I spelled that wrong. Sorry, you guys. Uh, bathology or hydrotherapy. Um, is something that you can do, and um, hydrotherapy is simply just taking a nice soaking bath, you all, with some Epsom salt and some baking soda, and um, aluminum free, or baking powder, baking soda, whatever, uh, and um, some lavender or peppermint or whatever, you know, soothing uh, oil that you want to use, and you soak for 30 minutes, 60 minutes, whatever you want to do, and it just pulls out the toxins, so it's a soaking bath, so actually when you get out, you want to wash off the toxins off your body, um, massage is great, and the chiropractic um, uh, is really good, you all, I know people who have had problems with headaches, and they've gotten their spine adjusted, and all that good stuff, and it helps the body to work properly, and detoxify, and the headaches go away, so I know I'm saying that in like two seconds, but I'm trying to move along, uh, so I don't hold you up too much, um, and Regina says, how do you use coconuts as solid? Oh, that's a great question, Regina. The coconut oil, I would just sit mine in 
um, uh, um, warm water for like a minute and it will soften up enough for me just to pour some off. Some people have actually just put a tablespoon of the solid coconut oil because it does melt quickly, but some people are kind of a little queasy about that. Uh, so if you need it to melt off, you could just melt it down a little bit. Don't microwave it. Um, we're trying to get away from the microwaves and I'm actually going to challenge you all because I need the help. I love to do everything in community, so I drag you guys along with me. I want to stop using the microwave, so I'm going to have us do that for like three or five days. I don't know when, but if I if because if I do it in the community, it forces me to do it. But I need to go old school. These microwaves, I don't know, you all, not not good. Uh, so, and I know some of you are like, okay, you're taking away my tuna, my chicken, now my microwave. You're hanging up, aren't you? Don't hang up. <laughs> so it's important. This is this is the reason why one of the reasons why I really wanted to have this because. Um, I do a full body, whole body detox cleanse, both spring and fall, and I was, I'm going to start another one coming up this fall, which I'll talk about momentarily, um, and I was just going to do it by myself again, and I figured, hey, I need to invite you all to do this one as well, because first of all, I'm so excited about this detox activity, because it's um, not as hard as some of the other ones I've done in the past, because people have looked at me like I had two heads when I talked about some of the other detoxes I've done. Um, so one of them that you could do is, um, and these are full body detoxes. The first one I have here is herbal kits, and one is called Easy Cleanse. I've done that one before, um, along with another detoxification program. Um, and you just take some, it's pre-made capsules, herbal capsules. You take those day and night. Um, some people get results. Some people are kind of like, mm, I didn't see anything. Um, I thought it worked pretty decent, but my sister Chanel did it, and she was like, I see nothing. You know, I don't see any changes. So I don't know. There's a master cleanse which is also known as the lemonade diet and it's like lemon lemons and cayenne pepper and distilled water I think I don't know I've only tried it once and after three days I had to get off of it because the cayenne pepper was making my heart race so I couldn't do the master's cleanse anymore but some of you might have had some great success and then the last one is a homeopathic full body cleanse that you could do twice a year and homeopathic detox programs are designed to detoxify and drain the entire body and what we mean by that when we say the entire body is not just some detoxes you do just work on one one body part it'll just work on cleansing the liver or just work on the kidney which is fine but the whole body ones work on cleansing the brain and the kidney and the liver and the gastrointestinal um, tracts and everything so that's what we're talking about we talk about twice a year fall and spring you need to do something that allows you to detox for the um, your full body. Oh, Kimberly says she'll do the microwave too. Thank you. Oh, oh my goodness, she hasn't had one in years. Are you serious, Kimberly? Maybe we'll have you do the webinar. Fantastic. <laughs> so anyway, this is the, the program that I'm so excited about. It's the Comprehensive Detox Kit. Um, and again, it cleanses the entire body. This is the one I'm going to do, and I'm inviting you to do it as well, because I'm going to do it regardless. And I'm actually going to do it in conjunction with Cycle 8, because um, I'm just looking for God to cleanse my whole body, and not just my physical body, but emotional stuff, and all that kind of stuff, um, my, you know, thinking, uh, everything. And just to have this wonderful, wonderful spirit when we're done with Cycle 8. So I'm actually going to start this particular comprehensive detox kit the first day of our pre-cycle, which is September 8th. So I'm hoping some of you will do it. If you're not fasting with us, no big deal. You can still do the detox. Not a big deal. You can start whenever you want, as soon as you get the kit. Um, so it includes um, all of these tubes, and they clean, and it will cleanse the brain, the spine, the extracellular um, space, which, and I put the definition down there, because I was, I was unfamiliar with that up until this point. Um, it's going to detox your liver, your GI, your kidney, your bladder, your lymph, your immune, everything. Everything, everything on your body that needs to be purged and made new is going to do that. So this kit is what I love about this is because I just said to you a moment ago, a lot of detoxes that I've done with people, um, like the Martha Vineyard detox diet I did last year, people are like, yep, not doing that. And those hung with me. It was 21 days. And they hung with me for about 14. Uh, and those my husband. Uh, but this one, you all, has no taste. It's, it's pretty amazing. What you do is you put 30 drops under the tongue for three days. Um, and it'll, and the, when the kit comes, you'll know which ones to use for what days. Because the first three days, you use the first three bottles and so on and so forth. But it's just a matter of putting these drops under your tongue or putting it in your water, whichever way you want to do it. And I know this is the question I'm going to get. Do I have to eat different? No, you don't, but I would recommend it, yes, but you don't have to eat different. You do what you want. Uh, and this product won't interfere with man's medicine. Some of the herbal ones I do um, will, but because this is homeopathic, it will not interfere with the medicines you're taking, you all. That's so important when you start any kind of 
um, detox program is to know, is it going to interfere if you take medication? But this one will not. And there are many health benefits. Uh, the instructor highly recommended it when I took that course a month ago. And then many of my colleagues that were in the class, they do this every year. And they said they recommend it for their clients as well. And they said one of the things they noticed right away was just mental clarity. They didn't have all that hazy and fuzzle, you know, fuzziness, memory picked up. And, um, of course, their bodies felt better, joints felt better, just feel so renewed from doing this program. So, again, very excited about this program. Oh, and Julie, uh, who's this? Um, oh, someone asked, do you recommend detox for diabetics? The thing, this one will work fine because, again, it doesn't interfere with man's medicine, which is good. Some of the other, like juice cleanses and things like that, you might not want to do as a diabetic, of course, because of the sugars in some of the fruit um, and so on and so forth. But this one here won't interfere with that. Again, it's homeopathic, so it won't do that. Um, so this kit, it retails at 140 you all. Um, but the wonderful thing is that when I went to the detoxification program, our instructor, um, um, told us that we could get um, a special deal with this company, which is Desbio. So I was so excited about that. I called them up, and I'm able to offer it to you tonight or today, for the next couple of days, for $99 plus your shipping. And don't worry if you can't do $99 all at once. Um, you can pay it in full, or you can pay it in four monthly installments, and it'll just be a 25 I mean, a $4 charge added to that for using um, the monthly installments. So it'll be a $5 charge, I'm sorry, $5 charge added to that. So if you did the monthly installments, your first installment will be $29, and then your installments after that, the next three will be $25. So that way it's manageable. And you think about it, um, when we did the Dr. Oz cleanse, that costs about $50, $55 for the food. So this is double that price, but this kit takes about 40 to 60 days. Um, you're not worrying about managing drinks when you go to work and all that kind of stuff. It's just in a capsule, in a bottle, you drip it under your tongue, boom done. It doesn't taste like anything. You don't have to have some kind of weird meal with it, which I'm not saying, because I will go back to the weird detoxes. You know I will. But I'm just saying, if you're not interested in that, this is so much easier. And you figure $25 a month for a couple of months, skip a movie or going out to eat or something, and this is going to, your body's just going to like be like, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. I love you, because you did this for me. But, um, and if you want to order, you can go to drcelestoins.com backslash detox kit and it'll be right there, and it'll explain to you everything that you want to do, uh, what you want to, um, how you order it, and all that good stuff. I had a question here. Um, yeah, people are asking me about can they do, if they have this illness, this, that's what a bunch of questions are coming up now. This, again, um, from the materials I get from the company and from other natural health professionals are saying that if you have disease, that's the whole point of detox. You need to detox. And this one, again, won't interfere with medicine, won't interfere with any of those things. This thing will wash you out, um, which is going to be fantastic. So that's why I love this program so much. Again, I'm going to start it, and I'm hoping some of you will start it as well. Um, <laughs> Deborah said, yes, she's loving it. Please do the no sugar detox. Deborah's another one of my uh, natural health friends. I, I lean on Deborah a lot to ask her different questions, so it's so much fun. But anyway... If you're not if you're not feeling the ninety nine dollar thing, let me just help you out a little bit. Um, if you uh, go ahead and um, decide to do this program, which I hope you will, I'm going to give you a free gift. I like free gifts, so I'm just going to give you a journal. So I'll mail that with your kit, uh, with the journal, so that you can um, have the forty day surrender fast journal with our for our next cycle of fasting, cycle eight, or if you want to do it next year in cycle nine or on your own, I'll make sure you get a uh, copy of our journal, which is the perfect companion to the 40-day surrender fast devotional. And there's plenty of space for you to do reflections and goals and prayers and all sorts of wonderful things. And it retails at about $15. Um, so if you if you want to get that, you need to order by Sunday because Monday I'm going to put our order in with Desbio. So you need to order by Sunday in order to get the free journal, okay? Um, so the deal is that you'll get this detox um, program plus the journal for $99 plus your shipping, and you can do it in monthly installments. But I have one last offer because, you know what, I love when people do this. I'm not a salesperson, but I love when people do, like, offers, like, ooh, make it more enticing. <laughs> so I just wanted to offer you one other thing, and then this is, this, this is it. So if you do, I'm going to do an early bird special. So if you order these products by tomorrow, um, before midnight tomorrow night, which is Friday, um, what I will do is give you, of course, the 
comprehensive detox protocol and the, the journal, but instead of $99, you could pay $89, you all, and you still can take advantage of um, the payments. So you can still do either pay in full the $89 or pay um, in the four monthly installments. You could do that and your credit card will be charged over four um, time periods. So that's that's my final offer, $89 up until tomorrow night. And then after that, it's still a great offer, $99. You get the journal, and we could all do it together and just feel amazing. So any questions you have, I'm happy to entertain that. I went a little bit over the time um, because I included questions as I talked, but I'm just happy to do that. So whatever questions you have, I'm happy to hang out with you guys and answer those. Um, oh, thank you, Tammy. Tammy said I'm such a great um Salesperson. Okay, thank you. Um, I appreciate that because I'm really not, but okay. But I just want to sell this to you guys because I really actually want you to do it. I just know your bodies are going to feel so much better. Um, let's see. Missed the beginning. Oh, Leslie said she missed the beginning. Absolutely. The recording will be sent right to you. Um, and Ruth Ann wants to order. Um, Stacy, check again. Stacy was saying that the website is not working. So you don't have to put www, just drcelestowens.com backslash detox underscore kit dot html. Or if you just go to um, drcelestowens.com, click um, free webinar. And after you click free webinar, you can click um, detox kit. And then Stacy, chime back in again and tell me if it's not working, okay? That'll be helpful. So, um, Saya says she drinks coffee. Can you still do the detox? Oh, yeah, yeah, you can still do the detox, but I recommend you stop drinking coffee. Because, <laughs> you know, what? caffeine is not my friend. I, I, get made, I used to get major ha headaches from caffeine, so I had to stop caffeine. I was forced into stopping caffeine. Um, I still do coffee, but it's de um, detox. <laughs> it's decaf. <laughs> I don't know if anybody's interested in decaf. Most people are like, I wouldn't even bother, but oh, well. Um, Crystal, oh, you're welcome, Crystal. So glad you joined the call. And she has a quick question. She's, she's going to put it in. Um, does it detox remove through all of the bulls? Yeah, actually, the, what the detox does is cleanses the other um, parts that I mentioned, the brain, the spine, the liver, the kidneys, the blood. It, it, it cleanses all of that so that your other systems can work properly. Oh, thank you, Regina. She said the website is working. So remember, guys, not www, okay? Um, if you want to go ahead and order. And people are already ordering. Yay. You guys are going to detox with me. Um, again, if you're not fasting, you can start as soon as you get the kit. But if you want to hang with me and we do it together, because things are just so much more fun in community, we're going to start September 8th, okay? Uh, so that'll be fun. Um, so let's see. Let me answer the other questions. Um, when I have too much caffeine, I get cyst. Yeah, Connie said that about cysts in the breast, definitely. And it can mimic, you'll think they're like cysts, like uh, cancerous kind of cysts, but um, it could just be coming from caffeine. So good point, Connie. Thank you so much. Um, yes, uh, Rachel said, will the website be up and going after this call? Um, Okay, she says she's going to order. Will you have something to interact so we can go through? Oh, Rachel, I hear what you're saying. You're going to order. Right. Okay, absolutely. Um, Rachel, tell me if you're on Facebook because that's like my main way to, to hang out with people is on Facebook and with our um, Surrender Your Diet Mastermind group. So if you're on Facebook, I would love to hang out with you. If not, um, we'll do some interface through the blog. So if you're not on Facebook, don't panic. We'll do the interface through the blog, the Dr. Celeste Owens blog. Um, and we'll, the first day of our detoxing together, we'll put it up and we'll be able to make, have conversation on the blog as well. Um, so don't panic if you don't have Facebook. Ooh, lots of questions. Okay, hold on, hold on. Um, I'm trying to catch up with you guys. Um, sorry. Oh. Somebody put 15 to 20 minutes. I know what you're talking about, oil pulling. Yes, 15 to 20 minutes. <laughs> um, uh, Connie. Oh, Connie says coconut oil melts really fast. Yes, I haven't kept up with you guys. I'm, you probably put that in 15 minutes ago. Um, also, oh, yeah, so Chrissy, the, the link, can you see it? It's right below. It says drcelesteowens.com backslash detox or forward slash um, detox underscore kit dot html so that's the link in, to order the detox kit okay so Tam tamara tamara your last name is chisholm that's my maiden name 
we could be related. But she says that she, she wants clarification. Yep, clarification is that you do 30 drops under the tongue three times a day, or you can put the 30 drops in the water and just drink your water. If you have a hard time drinking water, put it in there because it's going to make you drink your water. If you pay money for these drops, you're going to drink your water. So do it either way. Um, and then Tammy says she's going to work on getting the kit. Yay, Tammy. She loves the free gifts. You're welcome. Um, Stacey, tell me if you got it to work again, because Regina told me it is working. Um, Chrissy says the link's not working. Don't do www, all. Let me know um, if you're able to do it. Hi, Alicia. Oh, that's a great question, Alicia. She said, how long does it, does it take to complete the kit? Um, 40 to 60 days. Um, I don't know why it's 40 to 60. Maybe some people make bigger drops in their mouth. I'm not sure. Um, but it says 40 to 60. So it'll definitely be throughout the entire time that we're doing our fast together. So that's why I think it was just such a great plan. I thank God it came across my desk and I could share it with you. Um, oh, Ruth Ann says, stop drinking coffee. I get withdrawals. When... I do the surrender fast. Yeah, you will get withdrawals because guess what? Caffeine is a chemical uh, and it does have an effect on the body. And when you release it, your body is just like a drug or drug. You know, when drug addicts come off, they're going to have withdrawals. You have withdrawals from um, caffeine. You also have withdrawals from sugar. All of those kind of things when they start to leave your body. But you know what you have to do is just pray. If you know that the spirit is leading you not to do something, you just have to pray, 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 depend on the Lord and just say, please change my palate. That's what I did when I first started um, knowing I needed to change the way I ate. I just pray every day, you all, all day it seemed. God, change my palate. Help me to crave the foods that are good for me. Lord, change my palate. Help me to crave the foods that are good for me over and over again. And you know what? He did it. So you can do it too. Um, Vicki, the detox program again is 40 to 60 days. Um, Pamela says she enjoyed the information. I'm so glad you did. Again, I'm going to email you the slides because I know I went fast through that information. And if you have questions, you de definitely welcome to email questions back to info, I-N-F-O at drcelesteowens.com. Um, she says, oh, Pamela, this will be her first detox. Awesome. I, I can't wait till you experience the changes. Um, and Connie says, oh, yeah, about the caffeine. Yeah. <laughs> I knew I was going to get this question. Tamara says, does the detox help you lose weight? Oh, my goodness. It's not about the weight, you all. Nope, not about the weight. But if you want to lose the weight, yeah, you're going to want to get toxins out of your body because toxins actually, um, I'm told, um, when it is in the body, um, you know, clings to fat, I think it is. Oh, don't let me misquote that. Um, but anyway, it just makes fat reluctant to um, leave your body. And toxins don't allow your food to digest properly. Um, your, food, your body could potentially think it's starving. It's not getting nutrients. Holds on to fat. So when your body is working well and at, at optimum level, you can't help but to get to your ideal weight unless you are eating just like a crazy person and eating all the wrong things. But, you know, if you, if you want to help your body work well, work with your body and put some good things in and get those toxins out. So guess what? You will actually get to your ideal weight eventually. It's not a rush, but you'll get there. Um, and Kim said, thanks for the early bird special. You're welcome. I like early bird specials. So you're welcome. Um, yeah, Julia, this is such a great question. She asked, will detox help your hair to be healthier? It certainly will. Your hair um, is, you know, made of cells and all that kind of stuff and it gets nourished through, um, from the body. So it definitely will help your hair to be healthier. Another thing I'm taking, I've been taking it for about four weeks, um, is, um, I was supposed to say Botox, not Botox, biotin, biotin, right, Stephanie? Is that what I'm taking? She knows what I'm taking. Uh, and I'm starting to see my hair is starting to thicken up. I, after the breast, after chemotherapy, I should say, uh, my hair had thinned out really badly in the top. So when it grew back, it was thinner. Um, but I'm starting to see my hair starting to, at least to me, look like it's filling out on the top. So I'm excited about that. And biotin is just a natural substance you can use too. If, I, if it's not biotin, Stephanie, please correct me. I think that's what it is. Um, Tisha says... Does the detox work for people who have allergies, sinus issues, or have a lot of mucus? Oh, my goodness, yes. Um, one of the things I read yesterday about um, the body when it is, when, the bo when something comes to the body that is toxic, the body actually secretes mucus on that toxic thing, trying to cover it up so the body doesn't get affected by it. So I read somewhere yesterday that some people are carrying around 15 pounds of mucus. I mean, that could be an exaggeration, but <laughs> like, what? But the body just full of mucus because the body is so toxic. Um, so it definitely will clear up um, 
all of the things you're talking about, all of the above, yes. And even the other detox activities I talked about, like especially the oil pulling, people talked about how in just a matter of days, I think Ruth Ann said it, um, that her sinuses, thanks Stephanie, Stephanie just answered, yes, it's biotin, um, her sinuses cleared up. I think Tammy said hers did too, so yay. So yes, Tisha. Um, Oh, Leslie, no problem. I'm going to send a recording, so if you missed part of it, no big deal. Um, Rachel, you just said, yes, I am, and I cannot remember what I asked you earlier, but thank you for the answer. Stacy says, it's still not working, so what tab do I use on your website? Um, oh, okay, Stacy, just go to drcelestedowens.com, and then when you get there, the last tab on that page says um, free webinar. Click free webinar, and then when you get there, you're going to see the little box um, right next to it that says um, Detox Kit. So click Detox Kit, and then you can order right there for sure. Sorry the website wasn't working for you. Um, Lily says, yeah, Lily, that's a great question. You absolutely still get the journal with the payment plan. You sure do. So I'll make sure you get that with your order. Um, Chisholm, oh, Tamara, Chisholm is your married name. Okay, that was my maiden name. My married name now is Owens, as you already know, yes. How many days in the, is the detox? Oh, Pamela, the detox, again, is 40 to 60 days. So it just depends. Um, I don't know why they say 40 to 60, but it's supposed to be enough drops for 60. Maybe some people get a little heavy-handed with the drops. So so you want to do it at least 40 days, though, because isn't 40 that number of transition we've been talking about forever, y'all? 40. Let's at least do 40. Um, Regina asked the same question, so I answered it for her. Um, so, Stacy, let me know if you get in when you when you click all the nice goodness um, and go to, directly to the website. Um, oh, Sonia, the the uh, the kit does not require water. You could just put it under your tongue. But if you want to put in your water, you could just put in your regular water bottle, drop your thirty drops in, and call it a day and drink that water. It doesn't say how much. It doesn't say. It, it doesn't matter how much. It could be a couple of ounces of water, or it could be a whole bottle. It's not going to, like, I think maybe you might be thinking it might dilute the um, the potency of it, but it won't. So it doesn't matter how much water. Oh, you know what? I didn't think so, Regina. But Regina's saying, you all, which I should have left it that way and I didn't, that you're going to have to put the entire link in. So I'm so sorry about that, you all. So if you put in HTTP colon... Two um, forward slashes. <laughs> That's a lot. And then DrCelestoans.com detox. Da, 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 it's going to work. I'm so sorry I messed that up, you guys. Um, so again, HT. If you pay, put the HT HPPL, um, the HT. Oh no, Regina, you're not saying I have to put the HTTP in. No, Regina's saying make sure you don't forget to put the HTML in. Oh, thank you, Regina. That's better. If I'm thinking I just totally messed up. She's saying at the end of this web link you all right here don't forget to put in html okay so maybe that was it yes um a uh alva alva i think it is the kit is just for um i can't believe almost all of you are still holding the line that is so cool um the kit is just for one person so i have and those and they'll get dragged into everything i do so he's going to be doing the kit too so i have to buy two kits one for me and one for him um um tamara says when does surrender fast start oh yeah it, the information is on our website, drcelestoans.com, or you can do surrenderfast.com. I don't care which one you do. You'll get to the same place. And the fast starts September 15th, but I talked about a pre-fast, and I, and I talked about that as if all of you know about um, pre-fasting, but the pre-fast is one week, and it gets our hearts and minds prepared to fast, and that starts on September 8th, but the actual day one of the surrender fast starts September uh, 15th and it goes to October 24th and the theme is new beginning so could you use a new beginning I know I could this is going to be amazing God's just dropping so much in my spirit about what we'll work on and talk about we have prayer calls in the morning if you're new to this process 7 a.m. I record the calls though so you can listen to them anytime you need to um, so it's just the most amazing process um, um, Regina said, if you're still having problems, thank you, Regina. You must do, you must be somebody's administrator something because you are just so good with this. She said, if you're having problems, try opening up in a different browser. Thank you, Regina. Um, and Yolanda said, just to clarify, you are fasting as a group and using a kit starting September 8th, right? We're, we're doing cycle eight of the surrender fast, which the um, pre-fast starts September 8th. And I'm encouraging all of you to join me 
in detox and during that period, I'm going to start September 8th, yes, with this detox kit. If you're not fasting with us, you can start your kit anytime you want. Or even if you are fasting, do it when you feel led, which is fine. Um, Gina asks, um, is it best to give up the coffee altogether? I don't drink regular coffee. My problem is the caramel <laughs> um, um, at Starbucks. Um, that is too funny. All that sugar, Miss Thing, um, you probably need to let go of coffee altogether. But I'm not telling you to let go of coffee. I'm just saying, you know, you might want to. Because um, those flavored creamers and all that just pile sugar into you. Um, so you might just try to think of some other things. Um, and maybe I should give you some other things to think about, right, instead of just telling you to stop. Um, herbal tea teas are fantastic, and there's some great herbal teas on the market. Um, you could also sweeten them with more natural sweeteners, like... Um, um, honey, uh, agave, stevia, sugar in the raw, organic, um, so um, sugar in the raw. So things like that you can start to just try, you know, just try one thing at a time. You don't have to do everything at once, but just start saying, you know, me and my body want to hang out for a while. We want to do good. We want to get around. We want to be healthy. And just start trying one thing at a time. So, yeah, that's all. Um, Julia says, my sensitivity to caffeine went away after menopause. Interesting. Hmm. Cool. Um, April says, have you tried to detox or know of anyone that's tried it? That's a great question. April, the reason I was so convinced to do it is because when I went to the detoxification seminar last month, um, the instructor does it all the time. She looks fabulous. And then other colleagues in the room, we had about 65 people in, in attendance. And there were at least five people who raised their hand to share with us the results they've gotten from doing this detox. So I was so, um, I was so when they said mental clarity, because I just love me some mental clarity. Um, and then, you know, releasing yourself from joint aches and all that kind of stuff. That's my number two. So I was convinced. And then it just came to me just to offer it with you guys. So we'll just all be doing it together. Um, so hoping you enjoy the process if you decide to do it with us. You're welcome, Crystal. Crystal says thanks. Um, Danita says thanks for information. Wonderful. Um, her, both her and her husband are listening. Um, together, I'm so glad you both have decided to listen. And then she says it's her first time also. If she, when she does a detox, this will be her first detox. Awesome. Um, Crystal says, so what exactly is the difference between a detox and a cleanse? Yeah, you know what? Um, detox, it, they, they kind of go, you kind of hear them linked together a lot. But as far as my understanding is that this actually is a cleanse because it cleanses the full body but it, it detoxifies. And in some of the other, so that's why I just use the words interchangeably. Our instructor for the detoxification program was saying how that they have um, some unique differences. And one is, again, a cleanse will cleanse the entire body, um, whereas detox sometimes just de um, detoxifies certain organs. And what we're talking about here, this detox program right here, see, they even call it detox, but it's a full body cleanse. So don't get caught up in the terminology. It's okay. We're just cleansing and cleansing and detoxing, and it's not a big deal. Um, Yolanda says, are there any side effects with the drops? Not, they said none at all. They said it's homeopathic. It doesn't interfere with man's medicine. That's why I keep saying because I know people are like, oh, I'm on medication. Um, and no side effects. Only side effects is going to be positive. You're getting those toxins out of your body. Um, oh, I know what I think Yolanda's probably saying. Yolanda, I think I get you because when I do some other detoxes, what happens after about day three or five, the body starts to go through a healing crisis and my body starts to dump toxins rapidly and you get fatigued and tired. That I think that's what Yolanda's asking me. I was told, I called the company, they said this doesn't happen this way because of the way it's formulated and it's homeopathic. It's doing the whole body in a slower way. That's why some of those other detoxes are 14 days, seven days. This is expanding across 40 to 60 days. So they say you won't have those side effects. Guess we'll find out in a moment, right? But they say you won't. Um, Gina says, uh, I tend to Benji when I'm on my side. Oh, I probably shouldn't have said your name because you're talking about Benji in the cycles. Sorry. Any help over that over the 40 days? You know what is interesting? Um, man, you know what? This is something I probably could do at a later time. Um, but binge eating um, is usually not about hunger. So I would just say if you as much as you can, start to listen to your body. I keep saying that, but your body will tell you when you're hungry and when you're full. And binging is typically related to emotional eating. Um, and when we are emotionally eating, our minds are telling us we want to eat and it wants to feed, feed, feed the emotions and it really doesn't get enough until it's had too much. So, um, but cravings is something different. 
Um, and when your body um, is less toxic, it will crave less sugar and it, you'll stop doing so much of that sugar salt, salt um, cycle that we do sometimes. Um, so it'll help with that too. And over the 40 days, I just see God just stepping in and doing something really amazing for us. Um, I tell people all the time, I have a healing ministry. And I really wanted my healing ministry to be that I say, in the name of Jesus, be healed. And it was over. But I'm realizing now I have a uh, participate in the miracle healing ministry. So, yeah, you'll be healed, but you need to participate with me. So because that's what God's doing it through Dr. Celeste Owens ministries for now. So I'm just looking for him to do some amazing things over the next 40 days. Um, Dan, Dana, I hope I'm saying her name right, Dana, says she takes by tower for how many um MCGs should you take? Oh, yeah, you know what? They say don't go over 5,000. Your body can't even really process it anyway. Um, so not over 5,000. And some of the ones do like heavy, heavy um, um, things that come through, um, like 10,000 and all that kind of stuff. But 5,000 is what mine is. So that's all you need. Um, Regina says, can both my husband and I use the same kit? Oh, yeah, we got that question, Regina. You actually, I mean, you guys do. You're going to just have less half the time and they, they say you should at least do 40 days so you, you guys are going to need your own kits um, I'm going to be buying an Andela kit so um, this is so awesome you guys there's like at least 15 of you guys who bought into this I'm so excited we are going to have us some fun this is going to be awesome and there's people going to listen to record and they're going to hang out with us too we're just going to be some healthy people um, so yeah Tammy said that Oil pulling helped her majorly. Cool, Tammy. Oh, Connie, just go to drcelestoins.com. Click, um, because a lot of people have already registered for it. So just go to drcelestoins.com. Click free seminars, the last tab on that page. Then when you click there, click um, detox kit. And then you're going to be in. Sorry about the inconvenience with this whole craziness. Sorry, you guys. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, one system will cover the entire length of the detox, and then you're done. You could just do some of those detox and activities I mentioned, you guys, um, like the, the the oil pulling or the um, dry rubs and all that kind of stuff to keep your body detoxing, um, detoxing across months and months because these whole full body cleanses you do in the spring and the fall. So this will be our fall one. We'll do another one in the spring. Um, Cassandra says we should eat healthy, but if we don't change our diet, the kit will still detox our systems. Yes, 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 yes. You don't have to change your diet. I'm just recommending you do. And I think God's going to be recommending it too. He's going to be nudging you and pushing you to change some things. So, but you, yes, you'll still, you'll still get, um, the system was, the, the kit will still do what it needs to do. Okay. Um, Stacy says she finally got the register. Cool, Stacy. Um, Ruth Ann says, I'm the best. Thank you, Ruth Ann. I don't get that that much. <laughs> um, I don't know what I would do without you. Thanks for your obedience and following God. You're welcome, sweetie. Um, Chrissy says, thanks for walking us through the steps. You are so welcome, Chrissy. Um, Gina says, I didn't have to pull all of that in, and it came up for me. Oh, okay. Gina was able to register, pull it up and register, so that's awesome. Um, oh, yeah, Chrissy said, it just depends on the browser you all, for some reason, it's acting weird. Um Okay, so Tammy said it worked for her too. Great, you all. Remember that you can do it in four monthly payments. You're still going to get the free gift. You can still get it for $89 up until tomorrow night. Um, Stacy said good night. Good night, Stacy. Regina said, yes, yeah, she's going to do it. Yay. Um, oh, great question. Um, when can I expect the kit? Um, Vicky writes, um, the kit, I'm going to order them Monday. They say it takes about a week for me to get them. As soon as I get it, I'm going to send it out to you guys. So let's say two weeks max, Vicky. You'll have your kit, okay? Uh, Kimberly said Michelle Singletary would say give up the Starbucks. Yes, she would because Michelle Singletary doesn't play. She said you need to work on those finances. You all, we did a 61-day uh, fast with um, the 40-day surrender fast and the 21-day financial fast by Michelle Singletary with our church, the First Baptist Church of Glen Arden. So that's what Kimberly is referring to, Michelle Singletary. Um, Gina says, I know I've done green tea, but it's so bitter. I'll try the honey. Oh, yeah. Yeah, try something to supplement it, Gina. Um, and there's so many different teas that are just so good for your body. Like even um, raspberry teas are so good for women. Um, there's so many. Ah, I'm just going to draw a blank. Dandelion tea. Many people like the taste of that. I, I think it tastes like a burnt butterfinger, but I still drink it because it's so good for us. Dandelion tea, but mm. anyway, sorry. Um, Regina says she's signing off. Bye-bye, Regina. She just signed up for Cycle 8. Awesome. See you then. 
Kathy says, hi, Dr. Celeste, how do I access the link? I can't get through um, good info tonight. You're welcome, Kathy. Again, just go to drcelestowens.com, click free webinar, and then click detox kit, and then you're going to be able to get in because for some reason this crazy link isn't working. I'm so sorry. Um, Rachel says she went to order online. I am able to access the website, but the link to order the detox, tried another browser and got through. Okay, perfect. So Rachel was able to do it when she tried a new browser. Oh, absolutely, Sonia, because she's asking if the detox kit, kit will help with the colon. Absolutely, Sonia, because it's going to cleanse out the GI tract with the gastrointestinal, um, that whole intestines thing, all of that, all of that. It's going to cleanse with that. So it that is a great question. And yes, it will do that. Um, Yolanda says, last question for me, is the detox still effective if you don't fast at the same time? Oh, you know what? The detox has nothing to do with fasting, Yolanda. Um, we're just coupling it with the surrender fast because we're surrendering in the fall. and We're just going to do it all together. But the detox is going to be effective if you start it next week. I mean, it doesn't matter when you start it. It's going to work. It's going to be effective. We're just coupling it with the surrender fast because we just like to do stuff together. We're just family. So don't worry about that. It's going to still work. Cassandra said, you said we should eat healthy, but if we don't, the kit won't still detox our system. No, 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 no. I'm not saying it won't. It will definitely still detox your system. It's gonna have it's gonna be fighting through all of that stuff you guys might want to eat. It's gonna be it's gonna be fighting through my French fries too. Um, but I don't do fast food French fries, let me say, because McDonald's, first of all, is not even a French fry. It's like 19, 20 modified, genetically modified ingredients. Don't buy McDonald's french fries. Okay, I'm done. Uh, but, yeah, it's still going to work you all. They, they, you don't have to change your diet. My instructor said that. I'll call the company to ask them. No, you don't have to change your diet. But I think as you start to detox your body, see, the interesting thing is a lot of times our bodies crave sugar salt because toxins feed off all that kind of stuff. Even cancerous cells, all that stuff feeds off sugar, sugar, all that. Once your body starts to detoxify, you're going to be able to hear your body, and your body's going to start saying, Mm, I sure could go for some zucchini corn fritters or I sure could, could go for some cucumbers or juice, you know, some kind of fresh juice or it really is going to start to, to feel like that. Your your taste buds, your palate will change. So, yeah, it's still going to work though. Oh, good. Kathy says she got connected. Fantastic. You're welcome, Connie. She said it was informative and eye-opening. Thank you for being an obedient woman of God. You are welcome and sharing this information. Love you too, Connie. Um, bye, Marlon. She said good night. Um, and I, I, I will keep answering questions. If you guys got to sign off, you, you're not going to be rude. It, I, I will just answer questions so people are done. Um, yes, that's what I was asking when I asked about the side effects. Thanks for the webinar. You're welcome, Yolanda. Yep. You, they say we won't get that, that top of that dumping that happens and you won't lose your energy and all that good stuff. So you should be okay. Um, Gina says, yes, thanks, Celeste, regarding binge emotional eating. You're welcome. I want to do something on emotional. I did something on emotional eating before, but I want to do something really specific about how certain emotions um, are carried into our organs, how our organs carry certain emotions when we haven't um, worked them out and we haven't resolved certain emotions and how they get carried in our liver or get carried in our kidneys. Um, I'm going to do something on that, you guys, one of these days. It's going to be so helpful for you. Um, Leslie said, oh, yeah, Leslie, God has given me a healing ministry. Um, she said we need to catch up. We definitely do. Let's catch up next week, Leslie. I would love to do that. The kids will be back to school and I'll have some time. Um, Connie ordered. Wonderful, Connie. I'm so glad you're hanging out with us for this detox. It's going to be amazing. Uh, Rachel says, okay, she finally got in and she's joining us also for cycle eight um, and participating in the detox. You're welcome, Rachel. Oh, she said this will be her first full body. Um, oh, that's that's April. April saying this will be her first full body detox. And she did the oil pulling as well and saw the results from that. Do you plan to do a webinar or seminar for Surrender Your Diet again? I will. I definitely will. You know what I think, April, because I don't do our corporate fasting at the beginning of the year. I think I'll do Surrender Your Diet then because that's when people are um, – body conscious and they're doing all kind of resolutions. So I just want to make sure that people can do something they can keep. So I think I'll do surrender your diet around that time as well. But sugar before Thanksgiving. <laughs> uh, you're welcome, Leslie. Uh, Dan, uh, um, Dan says make the K in kit capital. Oh, Detox Kit, had, it had to be spelled out, capitalized and everything just the way it is, you guys. Um, Kathy says this seminar is right on time for me. I realize that my body is toxic because I have 
having issues with eczema. Yeah, Kathy, exactly. My daughter Leah is challenged as well with eczema. I remember when we started using the di um, digestive enzyme amylase, I started opening up the capsules and putting the, um, the powder in her food. It's a digestive enzyme. It's called amylase. Her um, eczema started to, um, to go away right away, within like a week or two. Um, but she's got tired of me putting the powder in her drinks. So I stopped and that was it. But again, eczema is implemented, implicated with um, poor digestion. Um, Pam says, I'm having a difficult time getting on the site to order. You know what, Pam? Again, um, hopefully you've gotten in by now. But just go to drcelestowens.com. Uh, what, what I've been saying, guys, free webinar. And then when you get there, um, detox kit, and you're going to get right in. Um, Sharon says, I signed up. Wonderful, Sharon. Thank you. Um, Geneva says, thanks again. God bless you. You're welcome, Geneva. Um, Gina says, okay, Michelle Singletary, I'll give up the Starbucks. Michelle's not even here, and she has such a presence, unless you're calling me Michelle Singletary, and I'm not nearly as hard as Michelle Singletary. <laughs> she said, yes, it's about the money. Love you. Thanks. You're welcome. Um, should you use the detox system with the digestive enzyme supplement? Oh, yeah. Don't stop taking di digestive enzymes because you're still going to be eating food, and you're still going to want your um, food digesting. So I always take digestive enzymes with every meal. Um, a whole all food, whole natural detox enzyme I use by Healthy Reflections. I love that one. I've tried like three or four different ones. This is absolutely my favorite one. You can't order it, though. You have to be a natural health professional. I could order it for you. If you want that product, you can get it from me. It's $25 a bottle. It lasts you for um, a month. Okay? Um, you're welcome, Science. Science, my cousin. She just called me Dr. Owens, which is really hilarious, but you're welcome. Um, Crystal says, McDonald's fries are a drug. <laughs> I know. It took me a minute to get off those things. Um, Daniel says, signing off. Bye, Daniel. Um, have a wonderful evening. Um, Pamela says, I was able to get the order. Oh, yay. She got in. I'm so happy. Um, Lily says, thanks, Celeste. I've got a lot out of this. I appreciate it. You are welcome. Um, Celeste, this is Tia. Hey, Tia. Register for the kid as well. Oh, good. Okay. Um, Gina says, Celeste, Tia says she got in, but for some reason cannot chat. Oh, Tia, thank you, because you've been blowing Facebook up, advertising this um, seminar, like, in the last hour. So I really appreciate your time and your help. So, so glad you were part of the conversation as well. Um, you're welcome, Tammy. She said, thank you. When God is in it, there's no limit. Ooh, girl, that is a sermon in and of itself. There is no limit. About to order in a minute. Oh, well, that is so good to hear. Um, Vicky says, having problems accessing the site on my tablet. Okay, maybe you need to get to uh, a laptop. Oh, she says she will. And it, it was a great call. You're welcome, Vicki. Um, please explain oil pulling again, Julia. Julia, um, if you go to drcelesteowens.com, I mean, drcelesteowensblog.com, Stephanie wrote up a wonderful write-up on oil pulling. But again, oil pulling is simply taking a tablespoon of oil, coconut, sesame, olive oil, swishing in your mouth for 20 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes, three to five times a week. You will um, um, spit the oil out, the solution that you're done for 20 minutes, into a baggie, not into your sink because you don't want to clog your sink. And that is that simple. But people have just seen the most amazing results. Um, yeah, Deborah said, yeah, 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 doing emotional healing of food. Yeah, I'm going to do something on that, Deborah. Might have you join me too. Um, Vicki, um, that did it, uppercase K. Oh, it was uppercase K, you guys. Um, Kimberly says, thank you for your obedience and ministry. This was much needed information. There was so much to learn. I've been on this path for years. I know it's quite a journey for me as well. Um, and learned a few things during this webinar. I thank you again. You're welcome, Kimberly. Lily says, good night. And Crystal says, I just ordered good night. Good night. And Maria says, I just ordered good night. Woo! You guys, that looks like that is it. Wow. Okay, we're done. So, you know what? I'm just wishing you all well. I'm wishing you a healthy body. I'm wishing you Godspeed and that you are able to carry out his awesome, awesome plan for your life as you are obedient to him and you do all that he's calling you to do. I thank God that at least 20 or 25 of you are detoxing um, very, very soon. So I look forward to having this experience with you. God bless you and good night.